To paint an ocean, start by mixing up the color you would like your ocean water to be. I'm going to mix up a light blue-green. So blue plus some yellow, a good bit of white, until I get the color I'm looking for. Once you have a good ocean color, dip your brush into the water. You want your ocean to be a little bit translucent so that you can see through to the colors of your sky. That will give it a look like the colors of the sky are reflecting in the water. As you make this first brush stroke, make sure that the horizon line of your ocean is very neat and straight. And then as you fill in below it, you can be more relaxed. Remember to use your water so that your ocean stays thin. Beautiful. Once you finish the base layer of your ocean, you're ready to mix up a color for the ripple textures that will go on top of the ocean. So I'm going to go with white plus a little bit of yellow and red to make the ripples look like they're reflecting the sunset just a little bit. And I'm going to use a small brush and some water starting at the back of the ocean towards the horizon line and just make very light back and forth brush strokes, letting the brush occasionally touch the paper just slightly to create these little horizontal feathery lines. These will look like dense, distant ripples. You want to have a good many of these, uh, small but packed tightly close together, especially back towards the horizon line. As they come down the page, you want them to get a little bit farther apart from each other and a little bit bigger, and that's going to give a 3D look in these ripples. Notice how they're getting bigger and further apart. Be very light when you do this and make sure that the ripples are mixing in with your water. You don't want this to look like a bunch of white lines in the ocean. You want these to look like they're blending in. You may have some white areas um, or some lighter areas, but they should also be blending and meshing in with the ocean. Little miniature gradients. Remember to bring them down all the way towards the bottom of the page, getting bigger and further apart until you have a look that you're happy with. And there you have an ocean with a ripply wave texture.